In this video guide, I'll show you how to create the Ken Burns effect. The Ken Burns effect makes creative use of the pan and zoom effects on still images. Well, using pan and zoom on still images gives movement and life to an otherwise static still image. This is a great way to spice up your slideshows. And just in case you don't know, this effect was made famous by obviously Ken Burns, a famous award-winning director from New Hampshire who used these techniques in his movies and he made uh, quite a few movies but three that come to mind are The Civil War, Jazz and Baseball. So anyway let's get started. Oh and by the way the pan and zoom video filter is only available when you upgrade your MSP7 to MSP7.3 which is a free upgrade by the way. So if you haven't already done so, I would suggest that you go to the ULEAD website and uh, download the uh, 7.3 upgrade and install it on your computer. Let's take a look at the final effect before we go through the steps. So what will happen is the camera will zoom into the uh, horse on the left hand side, then pan over to the horse on the right and then zoom out again. So the effect is very simple but quite effective. So how do we do this? Okay, so first let me delete all my images so I can show you how I did this. And from the images uh, folder in my media library I'm going to go ahead and drag the image of the horses and make it around two, two seconds in duration. Now we need to apply the pan and zoom filter so we'll right click on the image and we'll select video filters and right at the bottom you have the pan and zoom filter so let's go ahead and add that and click on options. Now what we want to do is we want to um, first of all zoom into the horse on the left hand side so we need to click on the last keyframe and then what we need to do is we need to adjust this rectangle here so we get um, a, the zooming effect on the horse on the left and what we'll do is um, as you can see here there's two uh, square sorry two crosses and the cross which is highlighted with red is the active cross so we'll click on that and we'll move that over to the horse on the left hand side and as you can see here don't move it too far because you'll get the black banding so we'll move it a little bit back and this looks quite nice so we'll just click on OK at this point and click OK again and scrub the timeline just to see the effect. So that's your first effect of zooming in. Now for the panning, what we want to do is we want to start from the zoomed in image and then pan across. So the way I do this is I'll copy um, the uh, image on track V1 onto track VB. You can actually leave it on track VA um, but just to um, make it more clear I'll actually copy it onto track VB and the way I do that is is to hold down the control key on your keyboard then click on the image in track VA and drag it onto track VB this is probably the easiest w and quickest way of copying uh, a piece of footage from one track to another um, we're going to go ahead and right click on this second image and go back into video filters and click on options. Now what we want to do is we want to make the first keyframe um, the same as the last keyframe from the previous uh, clip. So we'll click on the last keyframe here and what we'll do is we want to copy that over to the first keyframe. So the starting keyframe should match the ending keyframe from the last image. So go ahead and right click on the last keyframe and select copy. Now click on the first keyframe then right click and select paste. So it's it's very simple. 
Now what we want to do is we want to be able to pan this rectangular across to the second horse. So go ahead and click on the last keyframe. And what we want to do is we want to be able to drag, but as you can see, you can't see the um, the the second cross. This is actually the first cross on the first keyframe. So what I normally do is I click on the center anchor point, and now I can see the first and the second um, uh, anchor point here. And all I do is I drag the one with the red right over to the second horse and I can even adjust it a little bit. Let's go ahead and adjust that. And once again if you move it too far you're going to get this black banding so make sure that you move it in a position where you don't see the black banding. This looks pretty good. So we will go ahead and click OK and click OK again and scrub the timeline to see what the effect is. So here's the pan effect. Now what we want to do is we want to zoom back out. So we'll do the same thing. We'll copy this, um, the second uh, clip, back onto track VA. And we'll right click and go into video filters. And click on options. Once again, we want to make the first keyframe the same as the last keyframe of the last the previous image so we'll click on the last keyframe here we'll right click and copy and we'll go into the first keyframe and right click and paste so now we have the same image um, from the previous frame now we want to zoom back out which is really simple all you do is click on the last keyframe now from the anchor point you just click on the center anchor point and as you can see here the zoom ratio is 292 so let's just make it 100 and what will happen is you'll get the black band in so just adjust it using the up arrow until you don't see the black bands and that's basically it now if you click OK and OK again you really you have your effect so let's go to the beginning and take a look at the effect Obviously, you'll do a much better, better job than I've done, but anyway, it gives you a good idea of the Ken Burns effect.